How you be looking at the microwave burrito you just dropped in the floor at 2.32 a.m.? It is time for the second installment of r slash suspiciously specific. Out of curiosity, do you think you would still be charged with vehicular manslaughter if your victim was an idiot woman biking in the middle of a dark road with no reflectors on her bike? Um... Why? Just curious. Me whispers, Don't tell my wife I made bacon in the toaster! My wife, getting out of the car, What the hell happened? All six firemen, He made bacon in the toaster. <laughs> I would like to introduce you to Shane, my favorite Walmart employee of all time. Shane, I don't know what Swinecraft is, but ham cannot be sold as a building material. Management. 300 years before the birth of Christ, collecting statues of nude women meant you were wealthy and respected, a man of the arts. Nowadays, society brains you as an anime pervert. That's not allowed in this Applebee's anymore. How times have changed. Wait a minute, anymore? What? Hell is right-clicking to save an image and accidentally clicking email image and having to wait 40 years for some email program you didn't even know existed to rise from its slumber like some Lovecraftian ancient god. Meanwhile, the fans in your laptop are preparing for takeoff and you stare dead-eyed as the rainbow spirals, spirals, spirals. You wait and suffer this cosmic karma. Days past. Just a few more seconds, you slur. Your laptop freezes and the concept of time is no longer comprehensible. Your family and friends forget your name and you fade from existence. I'm looking at you, Outlook 2007. Me, walks inside house. Man, it sure is muggy outside. Her. I swear, if I go outside and all our mugs are in the lawn, I'm going to kill you. Me. Sips coffee from cereal bowl. Shane, when a customer asks where to find a product, give them... <laughs> give them an aisle number, not directions to Albertsons. Management. If you take a what character from the office are you quiz and get Michael, so you retake it changing your answers until you get Jim, you're definitely a Michael. Yeah, that is a pretty Michael thing to do, actually. <laughs> Me, after drinking five Dixie cups of bathroom sink water at 3.27 a.m. Ah, when you were supposed to be boating today, but your cousin cheated on her husband and announced she's pregnant with a different man's child, so now the family is going through hell, and you're out of a boat trip. Shane, the deli is not an appropriate setting to practice your ventriloquism. Please stop making puppets out of the paper bags. Management. Me realizing that being gifted during my childhood and putting in absolutely no work but still excelling in my little 4th grade classes is the reason I have little to no work ethic now and I get discouraged from things if I'm not good at them immediately. Well, sh**. How, uh, how many of you feel this right now? <laughs> Cause god do I feel it. <laughs> My mom walking into my room, giving me and my friends pizza rolls and seeing us with our pants pulled up to our chest but pretending to be crabs. <laughs> okay. When you send a picture with a girly Snapchat filter to your home and he starts fa- Big Smoke! It's me! Carl! Chill! Chill! <sighs> Shane, any free samples you offer must come from the deli department. Not electronics. Management. When it's your day off and you live alone, so you start doing your thing, but a fucking squirrel rips your entire goddamn house off its foundation. Uh, I can explain. Heaven. Me, after dying. We need to talk. God. Is, uh, this about the mi- Is this about the micropenis? What the f dude, yes, it's about the micropenis. Doing a bit more censorship than probably needs to be done because YouTube does not like me right now. 
me and the boys when we get an invite to a girl's sleepover after pretending to be gay for 10 years. Nature is weird as fuck. Just watched a beetle climb a big ass tree, fight like five other beetles and throw them off said tree. He then proceeded to mate with the female at the top and once he finished, this dude just yeeted her off the fucking tree too. When you have a heart attack at a necrophiliac's anonymous meeting. This is no place to die. <laughs> Shane, stop putting out samples labeled as mystery meats. Management. When you're home alone eating fried chicken in the shower and hear a noise in the house. Honestly, I think being stuck in an Ikea overnight would feel like a literal nightmare. If you mean to tell me there isn't a ghoul that manifests and wanders the halls in Ikea past closing time, then I don't believe you. <coughs> SCP-3008 <coughs> Harry Potter Hates Ohio Yeah, usually half of America hates Ohio too, depending on what color they went for. Uh, money pulled out of anywhere other than your purse, pocket, or wallet will not be accepted. For example, bra, socks, underpants, etc. Ah, uh, we got one of these up in northern Idaho, and um, I got so many questions as to what made them put a sign up. Shane, uh, stop putting on multiple name tags and pretending to have a personality disorder. Management. When you find out they aren't serving alcohol at your nephew's fifth birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Later, homo. <laughs> the kid from high school trying to get me to join his pyramid scheme selling fancy knives. Me. Not currently in the market for fancy knives, but enticed by the idea of a cult nonetheless. His mom, who is proud of him. One of my uh, buddies from high school actually got caught up in the knife MLM scheme. <laughs> Shane quit offering extended warranties on the fried chicken. Management. Me and the boys at Max's funeral, waiting for the attorney to read the will and tell us who will inherit the Bionicle collection. <laughs> Some of y'all have never been yelled at by a middle-aged white lady about something wildly outside the realm of your pay grade while working in the service industry and it shows. This may be suspiciously specific to some people, but to others, we know this as Karen. Shane, quit putting price tags in the deli equipment and trying to sell them to customers. Management. 51-year-old newspaper comic strip writer, desperate and sweaty, scrawling shitty images of kids holding up books and going, Is this an iPad? The writer grins. No one else does. Five magnificent beards that definitely look good, but must make eating a big plate of spaghetti with your bare hands just a goddamn nightmare. Journalism that I live for. <laughs> Man accused of exposing himself at public pool. I, I've never seen someone look so young, yet so old, so feminine, yet so masculine, so pretty, yet so ugly. Um, I'm truly disturbed. This is semi-related, but there's this guy on campus that I had to take a philosophy class with who doesn't use shampoo or conditioner because he believes, legitimately, that it's used by the government to control your brain. So his hair is this disgusting, greasy rat's nest. And honestly, this just reminds me of it. He kind of looks like him too. Me and the boys chilling at the hospital while the psychiatrist tries to explain the severity of my schizophrenia. Do not put knives in soapy water, or anything else, Shane. Uh, Shane, stop putting some assembly required stickers on the APs chickens. Pathfinder says, change your smoke alarm batteries or get off the fucking mic. This also applies to those of you who would like to quote unquote share their music taste with us over the mic. What isn't illegal, but creepy as hell? 
staring into someone's window from the street to watch Jeopardy on their TV because your fucking mom canceled cable when she found your vape? Shane, stop asking, is that your final answer? And offering to let them phone a friend after each order. Management. Some of you never had to sit at the table doing math till 1am with your dad shouting at you with tears in your eyes and it really shows. When your grinder date comes over to watch some movies and see what happens and you bend over to put the DVD in and you're being extra as sh sticking your ass out and you hear DAMN! And you look over to give him the look and find out he's watching Fortnite replays on his phone. This sounds way too specific to be a meme and more like of a confession of a sin. R slash no stupid questions. Would I be able to kill a polar bear with an AK-47? It's a hypothetical question, of course. When your sister hides your Nintendo Switch so you replace her insulin with heroin? I'm gonna do what's called a pro-gamer move. Uh, Shane, stop putting stoner approved seals on the fried chicken. Management. Anyone else go through that occasional phase where toast and butter is just the tastiest fucking creation on the planet and you have to restrain yourself from eating an entire loaf of bread in 10 minutes, or is it just me? Nah, you're, you're right on target there, buddy. The Walmart employee at the end of aisle 12 watching me eat 87 cans of SpaghettiOs? You gotta pay for that. Vaccinated kid gets eaten by a f***ing moose. Karen. Coincidence? I think not! If you don't get this one, uh, just, just go watch my Vax Happen videos and uh, it'll, it'll make more sense. Adam Silver looks like he sneaks into cabinets late at night to eat raw pasta. Shane, stop implying Walmart keeps the good stuff in the back. Management. Yeah, sex is cool and all, but have you ever found a small door in your house that leads to a parallel universe and your new parents have buttons as eyes and they make you lots of food, but then your fake mom gets skinny and kidnaps your real parents and then you have to save them with the help of a cat? Ah, that movie is so underappreciated. It's Coraline for those of you who don't know. Me, after taking two pills from a pill bottle labeled pills that make it so if there's a cherry pie in a bear trap, you can't see the bear trap, and seeing a cherry pie right next to me. I mean, what are the odds, right? What America looks like everywhere. The look. Nah, this is what America looks like when you stop off the highway at some shitty area because you gotta piss and maybe get a hot and spicy from McDonald's. You don't go here, you wind up here. I was about to scroll past, but the accuracy of that statement is astounding. Thank you for watching, uh, do the usual YouTube stuff. I got end screens up here, hopefully, or I may have forgotten them. I don't know. It happens sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, do the subscribing, check out the playlist, the end cards and whatnot, and I'll see y'all next time.